Hi everyone and welcome back to Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. Today's story is titled She said she ended the emotional relationship but she didn't. Married 12 years, three beautiful kids and what I would call a pretty happy marriage. Until a few years ago my mother-in-law passed away and it sent my wife into awful state of depression. She was crying every day almost for about a year but I stuck by her and supported her through it the best I could. She used to tell me how sad she was and that she wanted her mom back. After 12 months of her mom's passing my wife came to me and said that she wasn't happy anymore and she didn't know what to do. started telling me that the last 10 years of our marriage has been miserable for her and she resents me i wasn't sure what to do with this info so i tried exploring it she told me that she wants me to help more around the house and to be more present with the family i agreed to all the conditions and made changes the next day up till now things have been pretty much the same for us i go to work every day list she has a full time job managing the family and kids I agreed to all the stuff she wanted and I started making my family a lot more priority than it was before. I thought it was pretty good beforehand to be honest. Fast forward to 8 to 9 months and that takes us to February this year. I noticed a strange behavior where she was secretly with her phone texting a lot the usual stuff you read about. I then stumbled on an open Facebook page and snooped found she was messaging a guy from the gym a lot nothing physical or romantic but a lot of chit chat constantly every day tons of messages he knows we are married and i found out that she has started telling him about these marital issues that she has with me which i didn't really know about i said nothing and i just kept a close eye to see if there was more i found out that she was lying to me about going out for runs with her girlfriends when she would really meet up with him and go running with him this went on for about a month until i had enough and confronted her i told her i knew she was lying about this guy and i saw the messages and this relationship is not a good thing for us she flipped out on me and told me that i was being controlling and possessive and there's nothing going on and that he gives her a male perspective on her issues and it helps her She told me that she doesn't like me making her feel like I'm judging her or blaming her for cheating when she has done no such thing. I explained to her that I am uncomfortable of her having a male friend of this nature and then she told me that she can't stand being married to someone who makes her feel like this and it's enough to make her leave. I was like, "What?" This went on for about few days and we agreed that as long as she did not lie about this guy she could be friends with him but it had to tone down. That went on for about a month. She told me a few times that she is going for a run with him but the text increased. Then she started lying again. I saw a lot of text messages was deleting before it was deleted and then she started even lying to him. She tells him all the amazing things she accomplished which she hasn't and he just pumps her up with praise. They have met a few times to get a bite to eat alone and lied about it. I caught her texting him in bed late one night and she hid her phone quickly and pretended that nothing was going on. I let it go until one night I found out that she was out with him and she lied to me about it. I confronted her again and the same thing happened. She flipped out and called me controlling and she cannot deal with it and I don't make her happy anymore. I told her that no one in this world except their partner texting somebody that they don't know of the opposite gender this often especially at those times in those circumstances it just not acceptable. She disagreed. She told me that she needs a week away from me because she cannot stand being around me at the moment. She booked a hotel and took off, left me with the kids. This takes us to the present day. She is currently away, but I have been snooping to see what she has been up to. The first day after she left here, she arranged to meet with him at the gym, did a workout, and jumped into his car and went for dinner. 
The second day they went for a run and got some dinner and sat in his car in the park for about 2 hours chatting and eating. He dropped my wife at her car and she went back to the hotel. He went home. She's been texting him a lot in the past 2 days when she's not with him. I cannot see the messages. I just have access to the message timestamps. She's been looking at his Facebook profile and searching for him online each night and looking for his past girlfriend's pages. There is a bit I can see, but there's a lot that I can't. This is all I'm privy to at the moment. It's clear that she's really got a thing for this guy. I now feel like that all the stuff she made about not being happy with me and being miserable for the past 10 years is a cover up for her relationship with this guy or to make an excuse to end the marriage. She told me that she needs time to think about whether she wants to continue to be with me. I have spoken to two friends about it and they are equally as shocked as I am. She has never in the time we have been together had any male friends other than minor acquaintances. It's very out of character for her to do this and I'm just so confused. I know that I can't accept this at any level. It's driving me absolutely mad. I don't believe it's been a physical relationship, but she's clearly putting a lot of emotions into this new relationship that is eating away our marriage. I don't want to lose my family unit, but I can't live like this. What do I do? Everything in my gut is telling me this is unsalvageable. And how do you come back from this? I have sort of decided when she comes back, I'm telling her that she needs to stop this with this guy and no more these types of things in the future or I'm done. I am obviously very afraid of the outcome. End of part 1 and OP has an update for us. So. My wife was having an EA with a man from her gym who also has a partner. Instead of just leaving, I confronted her, we spoke very openly and she confessed that she had feelings for him and it was wrong and she will end things with him and focus on our marriage. I trusted her wholeheartedly. About two and a half months ago, we had a little fight and she came up to me and said that she is not happy and she wants to leave. She said that she wants to stay married but wants to live apart. I found the whole thing very odd. We had a long discussion about it and I said no, I cannot accept that. If you want to leave, you leave and we are over. So she said, okay, your choice and that made me angry. Anyway, long story short, I accepted my marriage was over and we are working on how to manage our kids, etc. But then I saw her on her phone a lot. So, I checked her phone and I found one email to him telling him that she is moving out soon and they will have their own little hideout. I had a panic attack. I thought she wasn't speaking to him. I undeleted all the emails. She had about 200 emails over for the last few months of them talking every day, telling each other how much they miss each other and where they would meet. They caught up a lot. It was so much more than I have ever discovered before and it was undeniable. This was the real reason she was leaving, which all started to make sense. We are now separated, living in separate houses. I am feeling totally heartbroken. I read all the emails, I know all the stuff they got up to and how they were both hiding things from their partners and confessing their feelings to each other. I probably shouldn't have read it, but I wanted to know the extent. It was very detailed. He was constantly convincing her to leave. She was hmm and aha about it, saying I have a good husband and he was telling her if you are not happy, do him a favor and leave. He is telling her how amazing she is and how she is worth fighting for and how she deserves so much more. I have some really bad days where I think about them together and it makes me feel second best. I want payback. I want to call his partner and tell her. I want to call him and just lay into him and tell him what I think about him. I go back and forth every day on whether I should but I feel like it will make me seem weak. Knowing that they got away with it and my life ended up in ruins just makes me really worried. I want him to experience some loss too. It's even harder as I'm trying to work out how to co-parent with her and he is still around. 
still cheating on his partner but now my wife is living alone and she is free and more available i shouldn't have trusted her but i was trying to save our marriage turns out i should have taken a lot of advice i don't know if i will ever get over this but i know in time i will get through it i just don't know what to do with my emotions some days that's all opi has to say at this time let's see if there's going to be an update soon Before we go let's listen to a couple of comments by the community. Seemed like fun says I hear you loud and clear. You could have probably cut this off before it got this far. If you had exposed this to her family, friends, work colleagues and everyone at the gym, but most importantly to AP's wife. Infidelity grows in the darkness. OP's reply. Yeah, you are not wrong. I should have done this differently. but i did what i thought was right at the time i'm still unsure if i should tell his partner it's a really difficult thing for me to do fine.fi says your inability for confrontation is what ended your marriage you were unable to confront reality first time now you're not even able to confront your wife or tell his wife op's reply i confronted my wife i confronted her many times and i confronted her when i saw the emails I may have delayed a lot of confrontation initially but I thought I made the right decision at the time in hindsight maybe not I don't believe my inability to confront my wife ended my marriage I believe her inability to act morally ended it if she was clever and he did better I would have been none the wiser please like comment and share the story if you enjoyed it also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video take care